I'm Sam Otten, and with me is Jason Book, and in this video we're going to be talking about Superman in the comics. So we had Superman 40 just come out. Uh, it was a little bit delayed, but we got a kind of a, a one-shot issue written by John Romita Jr. And then what we're going to focus on is Divergence, which was the free comic book day issue from DC Comics. And that Divergence book had a section, about eight pages, on Superman giving us kind of a preview of what's going to be coming in this truth arc for Superman. So, um, Jason, you picked up that Divergence on Free Comic Book Day. What did you make of the Superman stuff in there? I thought it was really cool. Um, I liked that we kind of have a different explanation than I expected of why Superman's going to have a shaved head and be wearing a T-shirt and jeans again. I thought it was going to be something maybe with Superboy, something we saw in the Morrison run. It, instead, it's something quite different. Um, there have been storylines before. Spoiler alert, guys. Uh, Superman's identity has been outed by Lois Lane. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's ever happened. Um, it's kind of a nice twist on what's going on in Man of Steel because she knows that he's Superman. And I love that it, how it's changing his life and like hearing people just call him Clark Kent on the street was really cool. I like kind of the villain of the week coming to, to hand his ass to him. It reminds me of kind of the John Byrne run uh, where it was Superman on the street and then kind of having to quickly jump into action. I like that Jimmy Olsen was there. And I think this uh, Gene Yang guy, um, I've heard he's a great writer. Uh, he's done some indie stuff. Gives me hope for uh, for the run, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we didn't get, like, the full truth look yet, because I'm, I'm still not sure, like, if he picks up a motorcycle and then if he goes to this other stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm sold on that. Mm -hmm. This one for the eight pages... Um, yeah, I didn't have like a negative reaction to Lois outing him. Uh, mm -hmm. I think she actually had kind of a reason that we haven't heard yet. You know, because yeah. basically in these eight pages, what we saw is that she has outed him. She feels a little guilty about it, but we didn't actually like hear the full explanation of why she outed him and under what circumstance and that kind of thing. Yeah, so I think we're going to get a little bit more of that later. Yeah. But I think it's it's kind of makes sense from a story perspective because... Jeff Johns set it up where he, you know, is human for a day, and we saw in Superman 40 that he's kind of experimenting with his new uh, super flare, which <laughs> leaves him human for a day. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of this humanizing element, and now if we have him kind of unified with his Clark Kent personality because he's been outed, mm -hmm. it almost kind of makes sense that he's being humanized in these two ways at once. Yeah, I think it's interesting. It's something that I can't remember happening to Superman, and especially with the new power, it kind of gives it a different twist. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, you know, like, it's kind of something, to me, interesting versus I thought it was going to be something with Convergence, that it's not the same Superman and all this kind of stuff. It's the same character. He's just going through a big transformation. Yeah, and for me, too, like, I was kind of thinking if he's outed, and he's at full strength. That's one thing. But mm. what we have here is that he can be outed and actually still be less than full strength. Yeah. So he's actually like more vulnerable now because like if he has the super flare and people know that he's Clark Kent, he might still be like on his way to recovering from a super flare and then be caught. So I think that's part of why he's got to like lay low at certain times. And yeah. it really just gives this different dynamic to Superman. I could see mm -hmm. people saying like, well, that's not Superman because Superman is supposed to kind of always be, you know, this invulnerable thing. He's not mm. supposed to be cowering in an apartment or whatever. But right. for me, I kind of just want to see what they're going to do with it and what this new writer does with it because it's definitely new terrain. So for me, I'm kind yeah. of excited about the new terrain rather mm -hmm. than getting like really mad that it's different. No, for me, I am I totally agree. Um, different in Superman is a good thing. He's the first superhero. He's been around a long time. And if you can do something original with the character, go right ahead. Um, I think um, we've seen it in one of the, the standalone issues already. What makes Superman is what he does. It's not always the powers he's using. It's the choices he makes and he does what's right. And um, whether he's depowered a bit or not, it really makes him who he is that he stands up and, and helps people. And I think that kind of thing is really cool in this day and age. Mm -hmm. So are you planning to follow then Superman after Convergence? Because um, it looks like, I mean, they talk about Convergence and that DC Comics after Convergence, they just want to have storytellers go and not worry about continuity as much. And so mm -hmm. it's looking like Batman and Superman have a direction set where they're going to go regardless of what happens in Convergence. So I yeah. feel like I'm... I'm following Convergence, but it seems like it's just kind of going to be a separate thing from Superman because it seems like Superman has its path laid out. I would have to agree. I think Convergence, is, as we were seeing, is, is not really doing great. It's not a great 
way to kind of establish a new continuity. And it's kind of a soft reboot in a way, I think, when they're done with it. But apparently there are going to be 25 new books, and the ones they keep behind can probably follow the 52 continuity, but they won't call it that anymore. That's my understanding anyways. Yeah, so I think this Superman is just, it's going to continue this path that we've been talking about. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like it'll matter actually what happens here at the end of Convergence and stuff, so... Yeah, I'm looking uh, for forward me, I'm to I'm fine it. with that. I'm fine kind of following this storyline, and I'm mm -hmm. fine if something else has a different storyline going. That doesn't really bother me. Yeah, and I guess the only thing that you're concerned about is the continuation of the John Romita Jr. art. I'm not a fan of the John Romita Jr. art. I can say yeah. that definitively now. Yeah. Um, it took me a while to realize that I really do not like it at all. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, I still am not sure why he needs to have the totally new look with like the bike and the black t-shirt and the like buzzed hair and that stuff. Cause, cause in this divergence, he still had his Superman costume underneath his clothes. That's true. So he wasn't like fully converted yet to the new look. I didn't know there was a bike. That's kind of funny. Wow. I guess he needs I mean, somewhere I just, to I've just seen a, I've seen like a, a snapshot with where it seems like he has a motorcycle or something. I guess when he uses the solar flare, uh, he needs to go from one place to another somehow. It could be. <laughs> yeah. And I wonder if he's like addicted to this, uh, super flare thing too, but yeah, we'll that'd be kind of interesting out. to see. Yeah. All I know is uh, story wise, it's at an interesting place. And if you can do something new with Superman, why the heck not? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we'll have to see where it goes. I think you're right that it is going to be a different, unique take on it. So Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it.